Hey guys, so today we are going to be talking about what? Living in a semi-truck. <laughs> so this is going to be a um, six month review of us living in our semi-truck full time. Like how has it been for us so far? And if we, if we have any regrets. So last year we decided to give for anybody that is new to our channel welcome. So we did last year we decided to get rid of a, our um, our condo in Florida, got rid of all of our stuff, sold everything, pack a couple bags, move into the semi truck full time. Yep. So it's been six months already, and um, what would you say that it's been like so far? It's been very cost effective. Yeah. Obviously, we save over twenty thousand, or twenty twenty five thousand, you know, per year. So, yeah, that that's the biggest reason why we moved. You know, cost efficiency. So, mm -hmm. um, and the overall experience, it's been pretty cool. I mean, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not what people would think it is. It's like if you don't mind. The person you're with and being around them all the time or every day like all the time all the time like 24 <laughs> 7 you gotta like to be around them all the time <laughs> if you don't mind that then it's all good yeah so i don't mind it <laughs> i don't mind it so it's not for everybody you know um it has its moments and it has, you know, its benefits as well, you know. For us, like he said, we have been able to save a lot more by not having, you know, that monthly payment for the condo. And now we can, uh, uh, you know, put that money towards something something different. Mm -hmm. For me, I feel like it has been, um, it has been good to not feel like, like we had that one thing that we had it to go back to constantly to keep oh, yeah. an eye on to check on to do yeah. you know like things like that it feel liberating to yeah. me we had to keep going back to florida mm -hmm. you know just because we had a place yeah and we had to keep handling business out there and we're basically paying for a place that we don't stay in it, it got to that point so yeah. it was just a i don't want to say a waste of money but it was a waste, of, was money. A waste of money. <laughs> it was a waste, it was of, money. A waste if, of money. If we gone for months at a time. Yeah, it makes we, no sense. It didn't make any sense. So yeah. we might as well just be out here full time. Anytime we want to just take a break and go to a hotel or whatever and post up, that's what we do. So Yeah. And you know, and sometimes the breaks are needed, you know. They are. Like we just got back in the truck what, a week ago? Roughly. So we, yeah. we ended up taking uh um like two and a half weeks, almost three weeks. Not it was not but we needed it but it was not by choice it was because we had to put the truck in the shop and it took them forever to fix one little something Ooh, yeah so we, we do another <laughs> video about yeah. that but so we was at a hotel for like two and a half almost three weeks yeah. so it was nice you know having that time there in a just away detoxing, from the truck yeah detoxing from the road um every once in a while it's needed mm -hmm. it it's is. needed can't just be out here forever i mean some guys could do it some people but do it. Yeah. We're not like that. Yeah. So every once in a while, you want to lay in a bed, yeah. a king size. So every once in a while, yeah. you know. So Seneca likes the hotel beds. Me, I am a creature of habits. It's so horrible, guys. Now that I got used to sleeping in the truck in my little corner, all squished up against the the wall of the truck, <laughs> I can't sleep on a regular bed. <laughs> Like every time we go to a hotel, I struggle. I cannot go to sleep because I don't feel like I'm being like squished enough against something. She need a corner. <laughs> she need that wall to, to feel complete. It's such a weird feeling, but that's just how I feel. Yeah. Super weird. I'm like, what? Wait, what? Yeah. But yeah, like I, I, every time we've been to hotels, I have struggled to sleep. As soon as we get back on the truck, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is my place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I need the king size. Yeah, Seneca does. I need that, I need that space. <laughs> I can stretch out. Yeah. I like stretching out, so. Yeah. But, yes, yeah, so far, uh, it, has been, it has been okay for us. So far, so good. You know, we haven't had any um, 
real issues you know with being out here I mean you know you it's all about the mindset you know and as long as you're on the right mindset then you know things are gonna go okay you know obviously there is those moments where you struggle with you know mental health and things like that and things get a little bit you know tough but that's why it's important to get out of the truck and you know take your break away from the truck if you need to yeah. but you know when it comes to quality time with each other Lord Jesus a lot of quality time <laughs> Lord Jesus <laughs> a whole lot of quality time <laughs> non-stop quality you know, before, don't you love it <laughs> I love it baby I love it <laughs> <laughs> before us moving into the truck, my biggest complaint to Seneca was not having enough time together. Yeah, when I when I worked at Warner, mm -hmm. that was an issue. That was a real problem. Yeah. And it started to take its toll. It was like I didn't I didn't like being on the road and she's at the house and she gotta handle everything and sleep in the bed by herself and you know, I feel like I was supposed to be at the house making sure she's protected. But when she's by herself out there and it's like, and I'm not around, you know, it, yeah. it, it takes a toll on me and it takes a toll on her. Yeah. So, yeah, so now it's the reverse. Now, it's the exact opposite. <laughs> careful, now, careful with what you wish for. Yeah, so, so it's nonstop. But <laughs> I prefer it this way. Yeah. Yeah. versus the other way obviously so yeah that was you know like I said that was like my biggest complaint to Seneca it was like not having enough time you know together you know but when he was with Warner and prior to that you know it was with him being in the military and other jobs that he had that was you know that it was really challenging with the schedule his schedule mm -hmm. I was still working a full time so it was it was really hard you know to have time together we went like many years without really having much of a you know time together or schedule to match each other like it was not like that yeah. and now that we're in the truck like 24 7 we run our business together yeah this is our yeah. business we run it together and yeah. yeah and i mean and we don't see any any time where it's like um we're, we're doing this for nothing no, no as long as we know like as long as we see the light at the end like yeah. we can do this and we're and the rates are reasonable. Yeah. Then yeah, it's not no issue. Yeah. It's not no real issue. So. And you know, when it comes to living in a, such a small um, space like here in the truck, um, I will say that. You know, if you if you're the type of person that can keep yourself yourself entertained, you can entertain yourself like anywhere with anything. I'm mm -hmm. that type of person. Like I'm like. Just, I get in my own world just let me be just mm -hmm. you know me and Seneca can sit here or lay back there on the bed for hours and hours laying next to each other and we don't even say a word like literally mm -hmm. like we do that a lot. <laughs> I will say that we do that quite a lot yeah because he be on his phone I be on my computer I be on my phone you know doing whatever it is that we're doing and you know yeah. we're right there but like the space doesn't bother us because we, you know, we like being yeah. with each other. So having a small space is not, it hasn't been a problem at all so far. Nah. And I feel like we have got to know each other in ways that I never ever had imagined. Too well. <laughs> we know each other too well. Ain't that right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <it is. laughs> Real good. <laughs> You know, now when it comes to having privacy, you know, when you're living in a semi truck, privacy. you don't have none. There's none of that. What do you need privacy for? I don't know. For something. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this truck. <laughs> when it comes to having privacy, you ain't going to have none. There's none of that. Like, forget about privacy. There's no such a thing. <laughs> And that's just how it is, you know, and um, I feel like it forces you in a way, not in a bad way, but it forces you to um, to be really open with each other, like really open with each other, mm -hmm. like all the way open with each other. <laughs> it's pretty open. <laughs> it's pretty open. 
because there is not a lot of room for you know for anything so up in the middle of the night then you gotta use the bathroom you know I, I me mean, you know being a female i don't want to get up and walk all the way to the you know to the to the store to use the bathroom in the middle of the night so there's gonna be those times where you're just gonna have to like do your business in the truck Did she tell me to get out i gave him the choice get yeah. out or stay here and uh yeah understand. just, just <laughs> <laughs> you stay one time remember oh, i was too tired that guy had a long day <laughs> i just rolled over in the corner put the cover over my head <laughs> oh, nearly yeah. suffocated myself so i couldn't you know <laughs> so <laughs> Anyways, um, that was too much detail, but mm -hmm. go ahead. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. It's right. the, you know, we're humans. That's those are things you know, nature calls, nature calls. Like, that was the last time I did that. Every, any other yeah. time I'd step outside of the truck, yeah, and yeah, but but it's gonna happen, you know, yeah. when you're living in, like I said, in a place like this, it's gonna happen to where you, you know, gotta use the bathroom, you gotta, you know, whatever, and you gotta be okay with, you know being in that situation you know in that space with that person if you and your significant other don't have a, a good relationship it, it, it's gonna be tough it's gonna be challenging you know if you don't if you like that person but it's hard for you to tolerate somebody around you 24 7 it's gonna be challenging yeah. you know for us you know i'm not saying by any means that our life is perfect or that our marriage is perfect like i ain't saying that because god knows that is not but <laughs> god knows huh? <laughs> but <laughs> even god knows <laughs> god knows but um but we get along you know good like we you know at the end of the day we're still best friends like seneca's my only friend he's my best friend and uh, we get along just fine you know you know to, to where we can tolerate being in a, in a place like this you know mm -hmm. not perfect you know like i said there is not such a thing you know mm -hmm. we have our ups and downs you gotta have patience yeah so disagreements and you know arguments and things like that are going to happen you know mm -hmm. and it, it's not due to the place where we are it's just it's just you know things are gonna happen you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's just part of the marriage part of the part of the you know the relationship but it's all about how you handle it and um, here we are. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I see the I see the light at the end of the tunnel, mm -hmm. and we know where we, what we're trying to do, and where we're headed. So yeah, just keep driving, keep the wheels rolling. You know the, the living situation is. It, it's by it, choice. It's cool. It was, it's cool yeah, and it was, you know it was by choice that we made. You know to to do this. Now, I'm easy going. He is like I'm pretty, pretty easy going, yeah. and I think that 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 helps a lot for me to like still want to be in here with him is because he is a you know easygoing person when it comes to you know the living situation and all of that you know I understand you know there's no reason to be tense and always mm -hmm. and just being a, a angry person or being a mean person or whatever yeah. so you, you got to leave all that stuff out on the road yeah. and once, once I come back in here then it's, it's totally different yeah for sure so yeah yeah so that you know it it does make you know things easier mm -hmm. when you are in a, such a small you know place like this but yeah so far it's it's been it's been good you know we have learned a lot about each other we have learned a lot about you know the things that we can handle the things that we can tolerate the you know anything basically mm -hmm. um and now we have a plan on how how and when we're gonna exit out from the truck you know into a, a home like we have a plan it's gonna happen you know sometime next year by the time that that happens we would have been living in the truck for almost two years Yikes. by the time we make that happen Yikes. but you know it's a plan that we have and hopefully you know we can uh, continue to walk all of the steps to get us there and uh, it should actually be really good, you know, for us if we can, you know, make it to that point. Oh, we making it. Yeah, for sure. It's too much invested in this. Yeah, we, it we, is. We, we'll make it. Yeah. Yeah, everything's calculated, you know, down the mm -hmm. road as far as like what we want to do. So, yeah, like I said, we just, we looking at the finish line, you know, it's, it's quite a distance, but we, we 
just keep doing what you're doing. Keep the wheels rolling. Yeah. Whatever headaches come along, you deal with the headaches. Whatever you need to iron out, hash out, or talk about, you know, you discuss it. Yeah. And, and that's how you communicate, and it's how you make things work. Yeah, for sure. You know, in this situation. Mm-hmm. Cause there is no way, there is nowhere to go. Like when you get mad, if you get mad at each other, like there is no place. I go to the front seat. <laughs> That's where you go. And this is my time out. That's where you the go driver's to cool seat down? is my time out space. <laughs> I'm take a time out. I'm go to the driver's seat. Me, I just don't talk. Like if I'm just, if I'm upset, if I'm frustrated, I just don't talk. Like I, you know, I usually need a minute to get, you know, my mind in the right place again, and then, you know, try to talk it out. But yeah. there's nowhere to go, so you can't really stay mad, you know, forever, because you're in the same place with that person <laughs> every single day. Yeah, yeah. So, it, it, you know, it's not for everybody. It's not super easy, but it's not impossible to be living in your in your truck. You know, it all depends on your goals. Your you know, like what's what's the That's finish it. line looking like for you? Like we have a plan, and it's gonna be really good for us. You mm-hmm. know, once we get there, so. You know, you just gotta sacrifice, and that's what we're doing. You know, this is a sacrifice right now, so that we can be better later on. And I'm all for that. Ten times better. Yeah, yeah, and I'm all for that. So, you know, you, sometimes you just gotta wait. You know, you just gotta wait to get your 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 price to get what you deserve. And uh, yeah, that's just what it is. Everything requires sacrifice, especially when you want something that's bigger than what you have at the current time. Mm-hmm. Or it's bigger than anything you ever did. Sacrifice is going to happen at some point. Yeah. And, and there's levels to it. What are you willing to do to get what you need? And this is our extent right here. Yeah. But, you know, most people are not willing to sacrifice, you know, much. They want instant gratification with everything yep. for things that they don't even deserve because they haven't put in the, you know, the hard work behind that. But yeah. it's just human nature, you know, we all want that instant gratification. But life doesn't work like that. No. It just doesn't work like that. So The system is not set up like that. No, it is not. It, it, it requires sacrifice at some point, so. Yeah. And you know, you it's gonna happen that you know, like holidays might come, birth dates, uh, you know, whatever special dates, and then you might be on the road. Like Seneca, what day is today? What what is it for us today? Our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> six years. Today is our years. anniversary. I've been on a seven years, and this is our six. Yeah. You're married. We've been together for seven years. Yep. Married for six. Yep. And look where we are. <laughs> Sacrificing. <laughs> Sacrificing. That I wish we was at the, the beach somewhere at a nice uh, uh, resort drinking pina coladas. That's coming. Yeah. <laughs> That's down the line. I do. But this is what it is for now. And uh, you got to make the best out of it. You know. Yeah. Like it's just. That's just what it is. Because it's what we chose to do. You know. For our living um, situation. For now. Yeah. Yeah. So we understood what we wanted. Yeah. In, in life, in general, so we both decided to move in the same direction. Yeah. And that's really what it is. It's the goals. You set the goals and you go after them. Yeah. And not, you know how far are you willing to go to get them. So. Yeah. But you gotta get on the, the same. Um, you gotta get on the same uh, um, page with that mm-hmm. person. You know because. Otherwise, you know, you're pulling left, she's pulling right, and, you know, things don't work like that. That happens. It does happen. So you got to make sure that you are, like, on the same page with anything and everything, you know, before making a jump, like, the way we did. Mm -hmm. Because things can go south pretty quickly if you're not on the same page. Yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah. But for us, you know, so far, so good. You know, six months into, you know, living in the semi-truck full-time. It's been a uh, it's been a quite of a experience, you know. We have traveled through like probably what like almost every single state. Out of out of the fifty states, probably about forty eight, forty seven, yeah. about forty seven, forty eight. 
We've been everywhere. We have been <laughs> everywhere. everywhere, you know. All across the U.S. Yeah. And, you know, like, for me, that has been a, a, a nice, you know, experience that, that I have got to see, you know, with my husband. I have mm -hmm. got to see, like, all of those, you know, different things, different cities, different states. And, you know, just experience all of that before we settle down somewhere again, you know. Yeah. It's, it's been an adventure. It has been an adventure, yeah. It's an adventure for me. Yeah? Yeah. So... Yeah. But yeah, so we just wanted to give you guys an update on, you know, our six months of living in the truck full time. And, uh, you know, this is what it is. Yeah. You know, we're not, um, you know, making it seem like it's this uh, fancy, luxurious living in the truck type of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not like that, you know. It's rough. It, it's rough at times. Rough here. But it's all about what you make it be. You know, yeah. if you have a good positive mindset, then things are going to be easier, you know, for you being out here. You know, you just mm. got to make the best out of it. And that's what we try to do. It's not perfect, but yeah. it is what it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> just got to make it work. Yeah, got to make it work. Make it work. Saves money. Yeah, 2024 come around, we'll be ready. Yeah, we're going to be ready for, you know, we have a lot of plans, a lot of goals that we're trying to... Um, accomplished by 2024 so and so far we are on track to you know to do all of that so mm -hmm. but you know it's like i said it's due to the sacrifice we're making today you know living in the truck <laughs> <laughs> living in the um in, in the truck is it's not bad it's and it has cool. this you save a lot of money you know you mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing for us is that you save a lot of money you know you don't got rent mortgage bills you don't got you know all of those things to pay so for us, it has been good so far. Hey, okay. <laughs> yeah. But so anyways, that is all we have for this one, guys. Um, we're just sharing with you our day-to-day -day life out here, you know, our own experience within trucking, living in the truck, you know, loads, everything that we have experienced out here so far. We're just sharing all of that with you so that hopefully... If you're thinking about getting into trucking, you can make a more educated decision on what to do. Yeah. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, and then um, we will see you guys on the next one. Yep.